Uh, neighborhood groups such as RRR are made up of citizens that are very interested in the happenings in their neighborhood and city. At what point in the development process should engaged neighborhood groups be included to provide timely input and constructive feedback on key developments? I think once we recognize, uh, especially once a, once a proposal has been, been written up, we should ensure that citizens have as much input as possible. Furthermore, I think that we need to make sure that we block or at the very least separate uh, how we end up doing the development process where uh, city council members uh, and city staff are separated from the developers to make sure that there's no undue influence. Councilmember Perry. I think the community should be involved as quickly as possible, and that's what has happened over the last three years. We've had a couple different uh, projects that have come to this work, and they were brought out into the community immediately for public input, and we'd be very to provide some feedback on them. One is there at La Sierra and Colette. We, uh, we went through it, and, that, and it hasn't gone anywhere because the community hasn't accepted it. We, we had our community, community development team that actually came out and got uh, suggestions and they built a community, uh, basically we built a community proposal based on community input and, and at that point we couldn't get a developer who was interested in it. Uh, the same thing here at La Sierra and Magnolia, the shopping center that's going in there, we brought the developer out here to show what's going in there and to get feedback from the community. Thank you. My next question is for Councilmember Perry.